Brakes are an important preventative maintenance item on these old Mercedes, in fact, any old car. And it's something that should be looked at on a regular basis. In this video, I'm going to go through some of the basic inspection procedures and what you should look for when you're checking out your brakes. I believe that this should be done on a yearly basis. If you're starting at the front brakes, begin by checking for any looseness in your hub and bearing play. Hold onto the rotor top and bottom and work it back and forth to, to check for excess play. Then go ahead and look at the rotor. Check for deep scoring in the rotor surface as well as a lip. Is there any sign of a lip along the edge here? If the lip is more than a sixteenth of an inch deep, you're probably going to need to replace the rotor. Mercedes-Benz does not recommend turning rotors at a machine shop. They should just be replaced with new units. To inspect the thickness of the brake pad, you can look through the back of the caliper in behind the spring clip and note how thick this pad is. Remember a new pad is anywhere from 3 8 to a half of an inch thick. If you see this pad worn down to about an eighth of an inch, you'll want to replace it. Here's how I inspect the condition of a brake caliper. You'll need a helper to get inside the car and work the brake pedal while you manipulate the rotor. Have them push on the pedal and lock up the brake and then ask them to immediately re release the pedal. At that point, you should get easy and smooth movement with the brake rotor. If it's dragging or difficult to turn, then you're going to need to replace the caliper because it means you have a sticking piston. Don't forget to inspect your flexible brake line. This is a very common neglected maintenance item. Look for cracks and stiffness in the line. Even if it appears to look okay and this line has no record of having been replaced in the last 15 years, I recommend you change them. Inspect the brake sensor wires that are connected to the brake pads. These are used to indicate low pad warning in your brake light on the dashboard. You can look at these, look for any chafing in the wire, any brakes, also unplug them to make sure the contact points are clean. New sensor wires are easy to replace. And finally, you'll want to check for any hydraulic fluid leaks. You can inspect the inlet to the hose here and look at the caliper surface. Look for any signs of wetness. Note here, we've got some wetness and some soft buildup right here. That is a very good indication that this caliper has been leaking fluid. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it and look at it more closely. Rear brake component inspection follows the same procedures as the front. In this case here, the rotor is only showing slight signs of surface rust and hardly any wear on this outside lip. The caliper is clean and dry, no evidence of leaks. I'm looking back here at the rear brake hose and it's flexible and soft, no signs of cracking. And upon close inspection of the rear pads, they're only showing minimal wear. But when it comes to inspecting rear brakes, there's one other thing you're going to have to check and that's the emergency brake shoes which are located inside this brake rotor. Inspecting the emergency brake shoe requires the removal of the rear caliper as well as the brake rotor. Once those are off you can get in here and take a good look at the thickness of this shoe. Brand new they're a little over an eighth of an inch thick. Also look for cracking along the surface of the shoe itself. If you have a problem with your emergency brake shoe, we offer a kit with complete instructions on how to install these on your car. I'm going to wrap up my brake inspection by checking the fluid in the reservoir. First thing I'll note level. In this case, the level's down about a half an inch, which of course confirms that I have a leaking brake caliper. I'm also going to check the condition of the fluid. If you remove the cap and look down inside, if you're looking at a very dark, mucky looking fluid, probably means it's been in here too long. Brake fluid is very hydroscopic. That means it absorbs moisture and it should be changed every two years. If you don't do this, expect to have problems with sticking or rusty brake calipers. I hope you enjoyed this video on brake inspection and component location. All our kits that I sell on the website for brake component replacement include complete instructions. So be sure and check out these kits on my website.